Jim Branscom here for the Cinematic Void Vlog. Recently, I had the privilege of hosting the LA premiere of the brand new 4K restoration of Death Game, one of the most insane exploitation films ever made. Death Game, the object is to stay alive. It stars Sandra Locke, Colleen Camp, and Seymour Cassell, and it was actually remade a few years ago by Eli Roth as Knock Knock. And speaking of Eli Roth, he showed up to do a special introduction for the screening. Several years ago, um, I was a number of years ago, uh, my dear friend Colin Camp, who I've known since, God, I was 20 years old, and when I, when I was an assistant, she was the nicest one to be on the phone, and that's how you can really tell who the good people are in Hollywood, like, when you're a nobody and they'll talk to you for hours about smoking the band at three and answer every question you had about Apocalypse Now. Um, and that was Colleen, so she, she's become a dear friend over the years, and she sort of casually mentions because I was asking her about Game of Death, she's and then Deadly Games, because there's like three movies where, which have Death and Game of the Title, the Colleen's, and she goes, oh, you know, I, I had a threesome with Sandra Locke and, and Seymour Cassell. I was like, excuse me? I mean, I knew that's some great stories, but what? She goes, oh, it was a movie, it was Death Game. I go, you mean Game of Death with Bruce Lee? She goes, no, 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 Death Game. I go, you mean Deadly Games? No, it's called Death Game. We had a packed house for the screening and everyone loved the film, and afterwards we brought up the stage one of the stars in the movie, Colleen Camp, who you might recognize from such films as Clue and the Police Academy series, as well as cinematographer and editor David Worth. All, and although they weren't on the stage, we also had the daughter of the director, Peter Trainer in house, Diane Trainer, as well as one of the film's producers, Larry Spiegel. It was very intense emotionally because it was high stakes and there was definitely a script, but then there was definitely impro improvisation. And I think that being able to work with Sandra and a lot of the, the stuff is improvised, you know, and I think that being that that atmosphere and emotionally heightened, and we were shooting at night, it was freezing, it was rain, the rain all over you, and it was probably one of the most exciting experiences I had had. It was a great discussion with David and Colleen about their experiences working on the film, and David also revealed that not only was he working behind the scenes, you can actually hear him in the movie as well. Now, some of you might have noticed that is not Seymour Cassell's voice in the movie, correct? That's correct. Whose voice is it? Mine. <laughs> So, every time something happened, they fire a cinematographer, you become the cinematographer. They fire the editor, they fire. you become the editor. Seymour refuses to come in, does his own looping, you become his voice. You did basically almost everything. This was, this was literally the Chinese water torture of post-production. Because now it's easy, you have pro tools, don't you? You have pro tools. I didn't have, I just had dialogue that was approximately what the actor was saying, and I had to take sprocket holes, take the 35 millimeter and cut sprockets, cut half frames and quarter frames and three quarter frames and move it up and move the line up and down. It took me weeks to sync that, uh, that dialogue into, into, into what the actor was actually saying. I want to give a special shout out to Bob Morowski from Grindhouse Releasing for helping to make this all happen. And if you're in a town that's playing Death Game, highly recommend going checking it out. And if you're not, there's a new special edition Blu-ray that's coming out very soon on Grindhouse Releasing. Head over to their website. I think you can pre-order it there. That's it for this episode of the Cinematic Void Vlog. Until next time, see you in the void.